I figured the perfect way to affect changes against discrimination would be as a lawyer. I was the only woman in my law school class. I did feel like a pioneer every day when I went to school. Today, many, many people practice employment law, practice discrimination law, practice civil rights law. But when I graduated in 1972, that was not the case. I went to law school to make changes on the gender issue. And incidentally, I've had dozens and dozens of male clients. There is a lot of discrimination against men. My career was kind of set up for me. People referred cases to me from all over the country, actually internationally too. So I had from the start a really exciting career. The main type of case that appeals to me is something that's going to change the law. I was the fourth national president of NOW. I had been on the board of NOW, National NOW, and I always thought it, I would love to be president. You know, I, I love to be the head of things because you get to make policy. What I liked was I was instantly on the national map. If I want to meet with someone, chances are they'll meet with me. That is not true of most people. It's not because I'm smarter or it's not because I'm even pushier. It's because I'm well known, I guess. Now created that for me. We in the feminist movement made such a dramatic change in a couple of decades. If one studies history, and I read a lot of history, in the past 35 years, it's been a revolution, not an evolution. It has been completely different. Women are in every type of legal practice. Well, that's what we're about in now. We want to change proper sex roles or expected sex roles. So I felt we should be allies with the gay rights movement. And there was a lot of fury about that. I'm sure some people think that I'm a wild-eyed, radical nut. One thing that I've heard many, many, many times is from lawyers, other opposing counsel, I can't believe how friendly you are and how non-combative you are. I concluded long ago when I became a lawyer that it was hard enough that I was female. It was hard enough that I was well known as an activist for women's rights. And I wasn't gonna also be tough and nasty. 1969, I ran for mayor of Syracuse. It took until <laughs> four years ago, 2009, for Syracuse to have a woman mayor. One of the things I wish I had known was that change doesn't happen overnight and that we should all be much more patient. It's been an adventure. It continues to be an adventure.